What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so today we're going to answer a question from one of the, uh, uh, the guys in the community. I got this question by email, so that's amazing. Okay, so today's question is from Bilal Budisa. Uh, I really like your YouTube channel, I'm 33. Thank you, uh, Bilal, I appreciate that. And I want to start uh, judo for life and become a world champion in this sport as master division. And I have possibility, times, or it's late. Great question, and thanks for this one, because uh, this one actually touches home with me a lot, because I'm actually uh, 41. I started judo when I was 36. Uh, and prior to that, I did six years of, uh, of uh, jiu-jitsu, right? Brazilian jiu-jitsu. This is actually what I'm trying to do, what I'm going for. Essentially, never stop until I do get it, which is a world title or a national title, because this is what, it, uh, this is what uh, I'm all about, right? At 33, if you were to tell me you want to go to the Olympics, yeah, okay, well, eh, highly improbable, right? Unless you have some kind of really big competitive background in some kind of similar type of grappling sport, you know? Will it be easy? No, it goes for me I, me too, right? Because when you go into the uh, master's division, you might think to yourself, oh, you're competing uh, guys uh, you know, your age, yes. Not necessarily your experience uh, level. You know, these guys might have been on like uh, national team members in the past or highly competitive in the past and they just came back to the sport and they've decided to compete. So now you're gonna be, uh, there's gonna be a big gap there in terms of experience. If this is what you really want, the first thing you have to do is find a club um, where ideally there's the coach or some of the coaches, you know, some clubs have like a lot of coaches. They don't just have one. They have like the main, uh, the head coach, the sensei, and you know, and then a couple of assistant coaches. It's a competitive club, right? Because th there are clubs that are more recreational and there are clubs that are more competitive. So you want to go to a competitive club, uh, have a talk with that coach, and of course, make sure that that coach has like a good track record, right? That has, that's competed at a high level, uh, that's been to, uh, you know, maybe on a national team or the Olympics or whatnot. So that way they could guide you through it. Because when I started, I, I was actually at a club that was more recreational. And uh, not to say that, uh, you know, the coaches there weren't good. I'm just saying it's different. Manage your injuries right? Because you're going to have to train a lot and you're going to have to compete a lot. So you're going to have to compete as much as you possibly can. So you get your black belt and then after that you go for, because that's, that, that's what the progression is going to have to look like. You, let's say you start today, you have uh, your white belt, so you're a beginner. Now you want to go through the ranks, right? And you want to get your black belt. You could compete in seniors division. Starting at 30, it's masters, right? But you still compete with seniors and the reason for that is uh, for the most part, like I'm not sure what part of the world you're in, but for the most part, there's not a lot of older judokas competing. You want to compete in the scene uh, with the seniors, so there's more people, so you get more competition in. But then after that, what happens is that when you get to uh, brown black belt, then all of a sudden these guys are uh, way, way ahead of you. you. You're gonna get beat for sure, right? But you're gonna gather a lot of experience, and then you can compete in both divisions when uh, when you get there. Um, so you could compete with the seniors and with the veterans. Because of all the competition and all the training you're gonna do, well, you're gonna have to live a very um, healthy lifestyle, right? So no more going out, <clears throat> or at least going out, but keep that to a minimum. Uh, drinking, uh, you know, probably you don't wanna do that because it's gonna affect your recovery. So I would suggest against that as much as possible, right? And, and there you go. So you have to be careful. You have to take care of your injuries. You have to know when to go hard, when to go a little bit lighter. So. That's why I really suggest like you going to a club where uh, it's, a, it's a very competitive club and the coach has a lot of experience so he could guide you through it. So definitely, I'm excited for you. I hope, uh, I, you, know, I hope you, uh, you, you get what you want. And of course, uh, you could keep me posted on your progression. And if you have any more questions, I'd uh, you know, send me an email and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, hey, maybe I'll see you on the circuit you know, at one point and uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a match and uh, we'll have some good times. If you guys enjoyed that or if you guys have any advice for uh, Bilal, then just put it down below. It's going to be good. I'm excited. If, uh, I'm sure you're going to have more questions, so don't be shy, okay? Uh, let me know. All right, take care. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's going to bring you to a page where you could follow me 
on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.